hello everyone and welcome back so basically in the last video we created this left panel and the right panel but left panel has some errors because actually we can edit the text right now but we don't want to the use the user to edit the text in the left panel because it will actually show the line numbers so let's add some code so that the left panel cannot be edited by the end user so for that we can simply do left panel dot is editable and we can set this equal to false so now if we run the app again you will notice that now the user will not be able to edit the left panel so you can see that if we try to edit the right panel you can see that it can be easily done and if we try to click the left panel the user will not be able to click this, this is because we have set the editable property to be false so I think this one error has been fixed now the second error that we need to fix is we don't want to show the scroll bar in the left panel so let's hide that scroll bar so for that we will also have to add a single line which is shows vertical or scroll indicator and that should be equal to false and also for the horizontal scroll in indicator and both should be equal to false so what it will does is it will not show the scroll bar either horizontally or vertically so this error has also been fixed and now what we need to do is if we try to write some code in the right panel you will notice that the left panel is not scrolling automatically so basically we want some functionality so that the both the panels can be scrolled together so for that we will have to go into our view controller file and we will have to add a new function here which is called scroll view did scroll I think okay so it is not showing the method so I think we will first need to confirm to some protocols so it is UI text view delegate and I think if we build the app again and then we will get the method for the scrolling so you can see that we have called we have now getting the method called scroll view did scroll so basically inside this function we can simply do if scroll view is equal to main view dot left panel then we can say main view dot right panel dot content offset I think oh not right anchor it should be right panel dot content offset it should be equal to main view dot left panel dot content offset and else if scroll view is equal to main view dot right panel then we can do main view dot left panel dot content offset and it should be equal to main view dot right panel dot content offset so basically this is a small function which will enable both of the text views to scroll together so let's try to run, run our app and see that in real time so this is the right panel so let's add some text in the right panel so you can see that we are at the bottom of the right panel and if we add some text you will know you will notice that the left panel will automatically scroll and one will we go above okay so it is not working okay I think because we forgot to set the delegate for both the text views so in the in this function view did load we need to do main view dot left panel dot delegate and it should be self and then main view dot right panel dot delegate and it should also be self so let's run our app again 
and this time our both the text views should scroll together okay so let's add some code and you will notice that now the one has automatically scrolled upward so you can see that if you scroll it down you can see that both the views are automatically scrolling and you will notice that we are only getting the scroll indicator which is this at the right text view only if we try to scroll from the left view it will not be shown okay so we have achieved the functionality where we wanted both of the text views to be scrolled together so I think we are done with setting up the view for our text editor in the next video we will start by automatically increasing the line numbers in the next panel and then we will add some more functionality like changing the text color and also the text size. So I will see you in the next video. Thank you.